Due to COVID situation and lockdown going on at different parts, students are unable to do industrial training. In a series of videos, I plan to give the students an idea about the real machines and their working. This video will be on compression machines. We'll see how a real compression machine works. Most of the students have seen single punch man manually operated compression machines in their laboratories. Here we will see an industrial version of it. Compression machines comes in various types. The most common ones are the 27 station and the 45 station double rotary machines. Now let's jump into a compression room. The first thing to note in a compression machine that it has a pair of punches called the upper punch and the lower punch. The powder or the granules are fed into a die. This assembly of upper punch, lower punch and die is held in a turret. Now let us see schematically how a powder is filled. The powder is fed into the hopper which comes into the feed frame. The black portion of the schematic is the feed frame. From the feed frame the powder is fed into the die. Now here is a real machine. The copper colored attachment is the feed frame. We can see that the powder is filled in the feed frame. But then how the powder goes into the die? In this video we have removed the feed frame and the hopper so that we can see the inside. If we look carefully we can see that there is a gap in the die. Below is a lower punch. The powder gets filled in the gap. The amount of gap decides the weight of the granules to be filled, which is the weight of the tablet. After filling we have pre-compression. In some machines there are no pre-compression. The necessity of a pre-compression depends on the product that would be manufactured. In a pre-compression stage, the upper punches and the lower punches presses lightly on the powders. The compression force is given by the upper punch and the lower compression rollers. After pre-compression, the powders are then compressed with the final compression force to give the final shape of the tablet. The hardness and the thickness of the tablet depends on how much force is applied. After compression, there is the ejection cycle. The lower punches pushes up the, thus ejecting the tablet from the die. If you have liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for further videos on machines.